I get asked a lot, when should I be doing a tax service management? Always. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the show. There is one question I have to ask. Can you protect what you can't see? I'm here to talk to you about a tax service management and help you gain an understanding of assets, exposures, and vulnerabilities. Most importantly, I'm gonna give you an attack service management strategy that can be broken out into three parts. This strategy can be used by anyone and any company, and I guarantee it will help you reduce risk and vulnerabilities. There's a few things that you have to do to get a tax service management right. The first thing is you have to know what you're protecting. That's where asset management comes into play. Asset management is phase one. Asset management can be broken out into three steps. The first step is discovery, which is how are you going to discover the assets within your environment? This can be through scanning. This can be through API integrations. The importance during this step is to automate the process. You will think later. The second step to asset management is asset inventory. Think of this step as taking all of the data collected on the assets and storing it with someone. Maybe it's a spreadsheet, hopefully not, but we've all been there and it's all right. Technology can help you with this step. For many organizations, they use something called a CMDB. This is a configuration management database and it serves as the proof of record. But to make your life easy, I'm gonna drop a few resources in the description in case you need an open source way to get started. The third step to asset management is asset auditing. This is looking at all of the information and context that's collected on a specific asset. When you're looking at something like a laptop, you might want a host name, IP address, installed software, configuration settings, and really any other attribute that helps you take action on your assets. When you get done with discovery, inventory, and audit, don't think it stops there. Asset management is a continuous process. You must respect this process. Asset management is the way to reduce exposures, remediate vulnerabilities, and boost productivity for your company as a cybersecurity practitioner. The second phase of attack surface management is crown jewel analysis. I get asked a lot, what is a critical asset? Everything in your environment. If you have a asset in your environment that is non-critical, that means it's a cost center and there's actually a risk that you're taking of getting breached having that non-critical asset within your environment. Now onto the most critical assets. The best way to think of crown jewel analysis is looking for the systems that produce money or value for your organization. If you're a financial institution, this would be the systems processing credit card information, bank deposits, and maybe the key card reader that opens the vault to the safe. This phase is a journey, and in many cases, it can lead to opening a can of worms that you didn't expect was there in the first place. During this phase, I guarantee that a team member will mention that one of the critical assets can't be touched because no one knows what will happen if it's altered. As a cybersecurity professional, your job is to safeguard your organization. That means giving exceptions where they're needed, but having a shelf life to exceptions with a follow-up. Third phase of getting started with attack surface management is identifying misconfigurations and vulnerabilities. In our world today, third-party SaaS apps are the best ways for teams to feel productive and collaborative. That comes with risk because with the cloud, there's the shared responsibility model. Whether it's a SaaS app, cloud container, or desktop app, the data is always our responsibility, so we wanna make sure that the configuration is also done correctly. Part of this process is going through best practices for your applications and devices, and potentially working with those teams as well to get more information. Sometimes we find issues that can't be fixed. This is where content filtering or a firewall come into place. There's always a tool for a job. It's just about selecting the right tool for yours. Attack surface management is like playing a game of chess, putting all of your pieces in the best position, not finding yourself in check. The game of ASM should not be played alone. When I was planning out this series, I reached out to NetSpy to partner up with Hacker Valley. 
Their team gave me access to their product and introduced me to their ASM consultants. I was blown away. Their solution and consultants can help you with each step that we discussed in this video. They take it one step further by also providing support and validating those misconfigurations and vulnerabilities to make sure that they've been remediated. One key element that I hope you take away from this series is that tax service management is a continuous process. After creating a strategy for your most critical assets, you repeat this process and strive to have complete visibility into your digital footprint. The attacker never stops, neither does the tax service management. Let's get started today.